You currently have the unique opportunity to see a spectacular comet in the sky. This comet will not return in our lifetime, so don't miss it. Be sure to stay tuned until the end to learn all about the Cosmic Visitor 12P Ponce Brooks. Welcome. What we can currently see in the sky will not happen again for another 71 years. Let's travel back to 1997 when we were able to admire the comet Hale-Bopp from Earth. I was only 6 years old at the time and have no real memory of it, but it must have been pretty fascinating. Let me know in the comments which of you were there at the time and saw Hale-Bopp, I would be very interested. Hale-Bopp was probably the most observed and photographed comet of the entire 20th century. And it is an absolute spectacle of nature every time you can admire such a cosmic wanderer from Earth. Because when you realize what comets actually are, it blows your socks off. Comets are cosmic objects that consist mainly of ice, dust, and rock, and are mostly relics from the early days of the solar system, i.e. -E. they were formed around 4 to 5 billion years ago together with the Sun, the Earth, and the other planets. Since then, these icy Methuselahs have been orbiting the solar system. These orbits are often quite challenging. Their orbital periods can range from a few years to several centuries. At their furthest points from the Sun, they often move into the mysterious outer regions of the solar system. Far beyond Pluto, often even in the final frontier of the system, the mysterious Oort Cloud, a collection of ice, rock, and dust that very probably surrounds our solar system like a kind of sphere. The idea that an object from this remote region actually travels close to Earth and can be admired in the sky is truly incredible. It will always remain a mystery to me how there can be people who simply don't find something like this exciting, to whom you can explain the most exciting facts about the cosmos and they just shrug their shoulders and sit in front of the TV with a beer and watch soccer. Let me know if you know people like that, but since I know you're not like that, you'll be immensely pleased to hear this news. Right now we have another chance to see a comet. A cosmic visitor is close to Earth and we can see it. It's called 12P Pons Brooks, I know, strange name. So if you're expecting a baby, you already have a very good name idea. In reality, however, the names simply come from its discoverers. In 1812, the French astronomer Jean-Louis Ponce saw it first and then later it was discovered again by the American astronomer William Brooks, hence Ponce Brooks. It has an orbital period of about 71 years around the Sun. Its orbit takes it regularly through the inner solar system where it feeds on the Sun and then moves away again. It is a Hale-type comet, so it has a similar orbit to the famous Holy Comet, which I'm sure many of you know. The last time we saw it was in 1986, maybe some of you even noticed it. Let me know. Hale-type comets have a relatively short orbit around the Sun ID arcades, rather than several centuries, and are therefore also known as short-period comets. Let's take a look at how Pons Brooks is structured. Like other comets, it shows a luminous coma and often one or more tails as it approaches the sun and the ice on its surface begins to sublimate. Some of you will be saying, Why is it in a coma? In the case of comets, the nebulous shell of outgassing that surrounds them is called a coma. When comets approach the sun, the ice on their surface heats up and begins to sublimate, i.e. to evaporate directly, releasing gases. And these gases, together with ejected dust, form a luminous comet around their comet's nucleus, and often also one or more tails that extend away from the solar wind. This coma and the tails thus form the characteristic appearance of comets and Pons Brooks is no exception, as we can see in this image here. Both coma and tail are wonderfully recognizable. Pons Brooks is particularly notorious for its unexpected bursts of brightness, which lead to spectacular observations. Our ancestors noticed this as early as 1883. At that time, it was also close to Earth and the aforementioned William Brooks recorded several sudden bursts of brightness. This was probably because the comet was outgassing a lot and the molecules were energized by the solar wind. Astronomer Gary Cronk's comet catalog describes the behavior at the time. Observations showed that a rapid, unusual change had taken place. The comet had become a stellar object of magnitude 7 or 8. The coma then appeared in addition to a short tail. The comet then returned to normal shape and continued its expected brightening. And it gets even more spectacular. Pons Brooks has an epic nickname. Mother of Dragons, why? Perhaps because astronomers particularly enjoy watching Game of Thrones, but mainly because it is probably the parent body of the Kappa Draconids, a small annual meteor shower that is active around November 29th to December 13th. Smaller parts of Pons Brooks detach as it makes its annual journey around the sun, and the Earth then flies through the meteor field at the same time each year. 
and we see a shower of shooting stars apparently coming from the direction of the constellation Draconis, hence the nickname. I once asked the AI what a hybrid of a dragon and a comet would look like in space, and I have to say I'm very pleased with the result. Another nickname is Devil Comet, because Pondsbrooks looks a bit like it has two horns when it has one of its bursts of brightness, but honestly guys, I don't see horns. It looks like the Starship Enterprise, doesn't it? But anyway, I can already hear many of you impatiently asking questions. Yes, and how can I see this thing now? Good question. We have the best visibility now from the end of March to the beginning of April. The best time to look is in the early evening directly after sunset in a westerly direction. It is then very low above the horizon. It can currently be seen until around 10 p.m. Over the next two weeks from today, this visibility time will shorten to 9 p.m. By mid-April, the brightness of Ponsbrooks will increase to four magnitudes. It will then shine as brightly as the dimmer stars in the sky, appearing as early as dusk. This also means that it will most likely be visible to the naked eye. Not super bright, but visible. Astronomer Robert Massey says, If the weather is clear and there is no light pollution or bright moonlight, then the comet might be visible to the naked eye. But for most of us, it's advisable to use binoculars or binoculars. So even with binoculars or even better with a telescope, you can see it really nicely and I highly recommend you do that because watching a comet through a telescope is really a super impressive experience. And here's a little tip to make the search easier. Between April 10 and 13, Ponsbrooks will be exactly between the Moon and Jupiter in the sky. This should make it relatively easy to locate. And you definitely shouldn't miss it because the next time the comet will visit us won't be until 2095 when I'll be shooting the videos for you in my retirement home. As soon as something new happens between now and then, I'll keep you up to date. But of course, you can only do that if you follow my channel otherwise you'll miss it. So subscribe now, it's absolutely free, and you won't miss any more galactic videos. Thank you, friends. By the way, there's a little Easter puzzle at Get Digital who run my space store. The questions are themed The Journey to Babylon, and if you answer everything correctly, you can win a plush black hole. So if you want to try your hand at the tricky questions, just visit the store. Yes, and it really is a very special time right now because there are two unique cosmic events. One is the comet, the other is a Nova explosion that you can see in the sky with the naked eye. And it will happen very, very soon. And this only happens every 80 years. So you definitely can't miss it. To find out when and how you might see the Nova shining in the sky, be sure to click on the video shown. And if you want to support my work and puzzle a little, visit the Astro Shop. Every order helps the channel a lot. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.